Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you wouldn't know that I closed on my home on August 3rd. Let's go. It has been insane. I am now a homeowner. I officially, officially, officially live in Florida. I've been living in Florida, but I was staying with my parents until I found a place and I finally found a place. A lot of you guys have been asking me on Instagram, how do you feel? Do you miss New York? Give us the tea. What's going on? Florida has been amazing to us. Being near my family has honestly been priceless. Being able to see my mom has just been like the biggest change in my life. I feel like I would FaceTime her every single day and I would go visit her, but being here and being close to her is just so different. Different. and of course my father my brother my cousins my aunts everybody like being around family and being around love has been so awesome and also seeing how much they love Arnell has also been really great that has also filled my cup so much because this is the first time that I've ever introduced a man to my family and knowing that they love him and care about him is just such a good feeling they literally see him like family too we officially left New York April 1st we got here April 2nd it's been a few months but we're finally like home home I'm gonna be saying home because this is my home but I didn't buy a house I bought a Condo. So I bought the condo in August and it is now September officially been like living here like sleeping here I think for like two weeks shout out to my family for helping with this because it was Beautiful when I bought it, but we just put our touch on it and just made it that much better The amount of places that we saw I think we counted 30 but it might be more <laughs> But when we saw this place for the first time we did the walkthrough we were like done Let's get that offer in same day because that's kind of how the market is right now Like you have to act real quick and so we did it it felt like the craziest thing we've ever been through because they really put us through the ringer. The seller, the seller's agent, it was just like, what is going on? But I was like so determined for this to be mine. When we first saw the place, we loved so many different aspects of it, like the location, the layout, size. We didn't realize like how much paint was gonna go into this place. So we painted for quite a while. It took a few coats. We pretty much painted the whole entire place. So it is a two bedroom, two bath. We painted the kitchen, we painted the living room, and you'll see just like the different things that we did We also changed like all the light fixtures or pretty much all of them except like one at first I was like, oh just one weekend in and out We're gonna paint and we'll be in there in no time, but no honey That's not how that works painting can be quick But if you want to paint well and you want to do a neat nice job, then you got to take your time So I'm happy we did take our time. We had our stuff in storage We finally got it in and we're so happy. We're still unpacking which is wild But we're kind of taking things slow because if we had just taken everything out of the boxes we would just have like products laying around so we do still have some boxes but actually most of those boxes back there are from amazon new shipments so although living with my parents was fun cool a blessing we're so grateful for them shout out to them for taking us in because we didn't have to figure a situation out where we're like renting for a few months or breaking leases or renting airbnbs because it literally took us from april to august to find something and we've put in different offers and it was such a roller coaster that i'm so happy that we had our support system which is my family to help us be there for us and let us stay with them and although that was fun and all I really missed having my stuff and I really missed my shower products and my makeup and I had stuff with me but it just wasn't the same you know once you live on your own and then you go back to living with your parents even if it's like temporary for a little bit it feels very different today I'm going to work on my bathroom there's the guest bathroom and then the, like the master bath how we're gonna do it is kind of how we did it in Queens where I take the guest bathroom and the reason is because the guest bathroom has a shower the other bathroom has a tub which eventually i do want to change into a shower like there's a couple things that i want to change about the place like bigger changes for now i'm focusing on the small things that i can do to make my life easier more comfortable more enjoyable like i want to be able to just like enjoy the place and not fixate on changing big stuff that's something that i've kind of like been learning is let's focus on the things we can change right now and put those things on the list like not ignore them but just like they don't have to happen all right now so for now I'm taking the bathroom that's near the glam room which is the second bedroom because it has the shower and I just I like the layout of it and I've been showering in the other one with the tub I can't wait to just have like my shower just with my products and everything so I want to give a shout out to our people over at native for sponsoring today's video one thing about me is I love a 
good scents and I love hygiene products, specifically shower gels. Like shower gel is just one of those things that I can't have enough of. I always have extra. I need options, baby, because different days, different weeks, different months call for different scents. So I need to put you guys on to what I feel is like my new favorite native scent. I have so many favorites, but I feel like I found like the newest, newest, best one. I said that last time and I didn't think that they could top it, but they came out with this new scent and it's just too good. So normally three body washes when you order them cost you $27, which honestly is such a great price for the amount that you get. I feel like you get such a big bottle and you don't need a lot because the scents are just so long lasting and they're strong. So normally the three would cost you $27, but if you use my code and you support me and use my link, you can get all three for $18, which is 33% off. Three is my favorite number. So honestly, such a great deal. They're sulfate free, phthalate free, dye free, paraben free. Good for you, good for your body. We love a good smelling body wash that doesn't irritate the skin. So I'm gonna share with you two new scents, one being like my absolute new favorite and then one that's a re-up that I got for my man. So this one is new. This is desert grass and sandalwood. Just smells so peaceful, very clean, but also tranquil. This kind of smells like a breeze. It's not like too overpowering. Like when you don't want something too strong or like too fruity, desert grass and sandalwood. Yeah, it kind of smells like a desert breeze. I feel like they would have this kind of scent in like a chic boutique hotel in the middle of the desert, but there's like a breeze. That's what I think of when I smell desert grass and sandalwood and baby vanilla and cactus flower. This has to be like my ultimate favorite. This is just like the perfect blend. Like if you like vanilla, but you also like to smell very feminine, very girly, it's this one. It doesn't smell too floral to me. It's kind of like vanilla, but also fruity floral. And if you just like to smell like that clean, like shampoo kind of scent, this is it. This is just so good. This one and aloe and green tea have that like clean, fruity shampoo smell, but like for your body. Cause I just love how like fruity clean shampoo smell and I feel like they don't make shampoos that smell like that anymore. I wish they had this in like a body spray, a body lotion because I would eat it all up. This is just too good. Vanilla and cactus flower. Don't say I didn't put you on. And then I have sea salt and cedar for Arnell. Oh this is so good. I can't wait to smell this on him. This smells like such a sexy rich clean cologne. Sea salt and cedar just the name alone you already know is gonna be good. So we are gonna make our way to the bathroom and I'm actually putting in a shower filter. One thing about Florida, the hard water here is literally drying me out. It's making my hair so dry and I could just feel the difference with the water here as opposed to New York that has like the cleanest water. It truly does. Nothing beats a New York shower. The water there, like you actually feel like you're getting clean. We're here in Florida. The water is full of like chlorine and stuff. So we got to change that. And I'm also changing like a lot of the accents in the house to black. Both bathrooms have a lot of silver and we're switching everything over little by little to black. So I am switching out the shower head and putting in a new shower head with a built-in filter. Florida water is just icky, gross. Let's head to the bathroom so we can put our new body wash in and also get that shower filter on. Let's go. so much better with the bathroom somewhat set up and I'm gonna take you back to August 3rd when I closed and all of the craziness that followed which involved like painting and slight renovations so happy I wouldn't be here without you guys so I'm very appreciative of you guys and I'm so sorry that I've been MIA but this journey was insane in the best way possible but i learned a lot high emotions i could definitely do another video if you guys want maybe answering questions about the whole purchase what you actually need to go into it what i suggest doing first and things that we've learned living in florida versus new york i would love to answer like any questions you guys have either in the next vlog or in a different video so if you have any questions leave them down below maybe i can just talk a little bit more about the details in another video but for now i'm going to just show you guys the process because we definitely attended an event and all of that in between painting and renovating. So it got wild. It got crazy. When you have faith and you trust the process, 
process. Beautiful things happen. I really was heavily trusting in God because that was wild. Like moving to a whole other state is already wild. Going from renting to purchasing, being a perfectionist and having OCD and wanting things like, you know, the way you want them. And then realizing you can't force things and you have to be patient. But honestly, we could have just moved right in and it would have been totally fine. But like I said, I wanted to put my touch on it. Stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. I love you. I just wanted to give you guys this little like hello because I've been missing and I miss you guys. I didn't purposely just like go on my A. Like it really just took a toll on me and I was physically, emotionally, and spiritually tired. And I still am. I really need a vacation and a massage. Very blessed, very grateful. And thank you and shout out to you for sticking through with me through all these years. If you've been following me for a really long time, like a lot of you guys have, I appreciate you. I love you. You're a real one. Let's get into the vlog. It's time! The last few months have been trying. Guess what I'm gonna do in any circumstance? I'm gonna try harder. It is pouring rain. Florida equals a lot of rain. I am on my way to do something very, 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 very exciting, very fulfilling. I can't believe this is happening. Literally, I can scream, but I need coffee because I feel like I haven't slept in like three months. I haven't slept well in like four months. We got here in April, it is August, and it's finally time. We are on our way to go sign. I'm on my way to sign. God knows what he's doing, and we were able to clear to close today, but I literally got told like two hours ago. So I had to like shower, wash my hair, get ready really quickly. I literally just threw on like my everyday attire, like black leggings, t-shirt, some sneakers. It's raining. It don't matter. The energy is crazy. You excited? Yeah. Nervous, tired, but still excited and blessed. Let's go. We got my cortado. They got his limonata. So we are ready to go. 777, baby. Let's go. <laughs> We went to our third trip to the store today. So we went to Benjamin Moore, then Lowe's, then Home Depot. Little pizza break. I heard this pizza is almost as good as New York pizza. Before we paint, we actually just caulked at the top, like the edges, so that it's a little bit smoother because it used to be popcorn, now it's knocked down. <laughs> So he's fixing the walls where there's like holes and imperfections. It has the compounds, you can see it's drying, but here's the progress. You can see the demarcation line of where there's two coats and one coat and some thunder and it looks a little like more warm because of this light that we are going to change my job right now is on cleaning duty so i'm going to vacuum up any like drywall any dust on the corners and stuff like that excuse me excuse me hard men at work hard men at work arnell is going to be sanding the makeup room oh Ooh. you ready to sand all right
por todo el lado. No pasa el tiempo y ahora no se queda nada. Sé que se ve delicioso, pero todavía no toquemos el plato. because we're gonna do the entryway. This is a lot of work. Didn't look like it, but it is. Still gotta change these lights. Change this light. We got my cousin Choops on the lights. Hey, hey. Should we see what kind of light you want? You want like daylight or like? Daylight, daylight. There's like three options, like the middle one. Yeah, go ahead and turn on the light. You have that option? You have this option? Mm. First one? That's a yellowy? I'm not the yellowy. I think the first one. Yeah, yeah. We'll try to take a little side of it. Don't have them, no worries. But still, you gotta respect the green one. Put the little cap on there, do the whole bit. Who else do you know comes through, hangs lights, and gives you contact? <laughs> Somebody named Mama and no one else. That's it, bro. That's about it. That's it, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Nah, you're never leaving. Nah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm actually leaving right now. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that way. And that there way. There it goes, Suck. there it goes. Boom. Suck. Boom. Suck, baby. Yeah. Beautiful, man. That's good enough. I like it. Mm -hmm. This bad boy goes right here. Dirty pop. Dirty pop. Dirty pop. Turn on the light, will ya? Let's see if we're gonna explode or not. Oh. Are they the same light? They're not the same light. God damn it. No. Oh. Oh. This is number two. Yeah. Uh, staying in Naples with my family and this is one of the rooms but we love this Airbnb because of the pool this pool in the daytime is gonna be everything we just upgraded to the Amazon Echo Show 10 and we're just gonna unbox it we've never had anything like this we didn't even have an Alexa back in New York so not only did we get one but we got the latest and greatest well not the latest and greatest but one of the most popping ones that swivels and it's kind of like having a little mini TV or iPad which is gonna be perfect for recipes and music it looks so good it and work. it also connects to the ring camera so I can say like Alexa show me front door and it'll show me the camera obviously it's not even turned on yet but mainly I use it for music it was $249.99 at Best Buy but they have it um, I think at Target, Home Depot and Amazon <laughs> so yeah we're team Alexa team Amazon of course we did pick it up today at Best Buy just because we wanted it like today <laughs> we were so impatient we went and just went for the big boy but they actually have something even bigger I think it's the Echo Show 15 Okay. And it's huge and it's really fire because you can like mount it onto your wall or onto your cabinet So it's like extra extra high-tech and then like you can move it, but I like this one I think it matches looks really pretty We were like debating between black and white for like half hour But I felt like the white would just camouflage better with the counters and with the cabinets So the back piece is a speaker and then it has the screen and there's no better feeling than opening up a brand new electronic. And I feel like for the price, it's really good because you could even watch like Netflix on it, YouTube. It's literally just like a mini iPad. Hello, ready for setup. Picking up our truck. We 
got the truck, secured the truck. When we moved all our stuff from New York to Florida, we used roadway moving, and honestly, they made the process so easy. And now we're on our own here, because we're only going from like the storage to our place. So we are doing it on our own. It's taken us really long to get to this day, because we were painting, we were fixing, we were doing all the things, and we were cleaning. And we also went to Naples in between all of that. So finally the day is here where we're gonna get our stuff out of the storage and into our place. I still have a lot of stuff in my parents' place, but we're gonna go back for that. I mean, the key is just to get like our big furniture and everything out into our place because it's been sitting there for like four months now. It's in air conditioning, like the storage is air conditioned, but still we wanna get our stuff out of there. This morning I had such a hard time getting up I was just way too tired like I literally kept laying right back down I'm just excited to have our bed and our stuff we might be taking a trip to New York soon and if we do and when we do actually I'm definitely getting a keratin because this heat this humidity does not play with my hair well I haven't had a keratin in so long I haven't had anything really done Botox or massages like we've just been out here just grinding it out but I'm really proud of us and just really happy that today is happening so I'll see you guys at the public storage and hopefully that'll be the end of that ya ta bueno ya ta bueno bye let's so start stacking boxes in so front of us we can hold them up against the wall stack 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 so it is moving day and i'm just going to give you a quick little tour so we have the entryway washer dryer water heater our kitchen This is the guest bathroom, the makeup room with closets. We're probably going to change them to like solid shelves eventually, but for now, that's what it came with. So that's what we're leaving it. So this is the makeup room. This room had no light, so we ended up putting this one up and it was a struggle. Let me tell you, this is the living room balcony. This was a closet that we're converting into the office. Walking over here is the bedroom with the walk-in closet. And then this is the other bathroom that looks pretty identical to the other one except the guest bathroom has the shower and this one has a tub. We do have to change the fans to something a lot more quiet because it's very loud. But yeah, this is what we're working with. Painted the whole place and changed the lights. We still have a ton of boxes. We're actually gonna go head to my parents' place to grab the rest. Okay, so here is where we are at right now with the beauty room. So I ended up getting a new bookcase because this one is busted. It's got little bruises and cuts and stuff, so I ended up getting a new one. I also got new IKEA Alex jars, the two small ones, and a new tabletop. These two I kept because I bought them when I lived in Queens, but the other ones that I had, they're actually right there. They lean in, they're just not it anymore, and they were like really yellow compared to these. That's the Billy bookcase. This one is from Wayfair, and I liked it because it had these thick shelves. This is what I've been doing today, just like unraveling because we pretty much had everything wrapped in this like plastic thick saran wrap looking stuff broke all the boxes down and this is everything that lives in these those on top of my vanity and also i had some stuff in the credenza the black credenza the buffet table situation that i had or like a tv console people use it as which actually is what we're using it as right now because i kind of want like a whole new background we really have to think about like what we want to do but for now this is my task which is to declutter get rid of because this is just way too much i mean 
granted this is a lot of like makeup artistry stuff bath products hair and personal makeup but still i have more makeup that i had in my parents house two kits one personal one makeup artist kit so those are full too so i definitely have to do away with some of this because there's just no need but i'll show you guys see this is what was in the makeup room before and to be honest i don't love it for this space i do like it i don't love it the reason is because i feel like i want something longer i feel like this is almost the size of the tv so that's kind of eh we do have to move the tv over a few inches to the left so it could be a little more centered as well as that but arnell actually made a little tiny hole in here for the wi-fi for now because whoever lived here before i guess had the wi-fi right here smack dab in the middle of the living room but it used to be at one point over here because there's a cable here for it but it's dead so we couldn't put the wi-fi here originally we wanted to put the wi-fi here because this is going to be the office we're getting there this is all new pr stuff that came from my parents house our table for the dining room got delivered but they forgot the actual tabletop which is like the most important thing they just brought us the legs so thank you Wayfair for that. A lot of this stuff is kitchen, kitchen appliances, home appliances, seasonal decorations and candles, all new Amazon stuff. So yeah, that's what we're working with. But just wanted to give you an update that we are currently living in craziness in boxes and we're gonna figure this out. So this is what I'm currently doing, cleaning these acrylics one by one with soap and water i wanted to buy these again but i said let me just try to clean them and see if i can get them clean the other one that i have is actually gonna go in the garbage because it's broken so i'm gonna try to condense all my makeup into one of these cubes um, i ended up finding it on etsy so if these don't look too good like after they dried i might get one but i don't know i'm trying to eliminate as much clutter like on top of my vanity as much as i can some people like will dig through drawers to find their makeup and me it's kind of like if i don't see it, i forget about it but currently the makeup room is looking like this changed up and put the alex jars symmetrical like this instead because i had this one on that end i decluttered a ton i know it still looks like a lot but there's more because this is just the makeup that was in storage i kept like buying stuff that i already own because these things were in storage so yeah i am just cleaning organizing disinfecting just when i thought it was getting better it gets worse i ran some errands today and ended up at sephora so I picked up this new Moroccan Oil Frizz Shield Spray. I love this eyeliner, the One Size Point Made Waterproof Liner in Bodacious Black. I picked up another Summer Fries Lip Butter Balm in the pink shade, in pink sugar, to put on my nightstand. Wasn't going to buy this because I truly don't need another palette, but I ended up picking up the Patrick Ta Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I think I'm going to probably do a video with this. And then Rare Beauty Eyebrow Gel that's new. I got this Glaze Lip Oil in Mystery. It's supposed to like change to your pH. And I got this as a freebie on an online order. I'm gonna put these goodies back in the bag so I can record it, but I also ordered this from Bloomingdale's. This is a by Terry Hyaluronic Global Face Cream. It has niacinamide and squalene. Hoping this works for my super sensitive skin. It doesn't have any fragrance and it has eight hyaluronic acids. So we shall see. The app that I use to check my skincare said this was safe for me, but sometimes it's a little off, but we shall see. I'm gonna put all these goodies back in here because I'm probably gonna take a picture for Instagram. Yesterday I was organizing. So we have palettes in here. Then it's eye stuff. I still have to get a, an organizer for these things because I don't like having stuff like just loose. I like them in their acrylic, so I'm probably gonna go to the container store and get one of these to organize those better, but so far so good. Primers and concealers, Studio Fix powders, Makeup Forever powders, and One Size Beauty powders. In one of those packages that I have out there, I have this museum gel. It's kind of like a clear putty that you put on anything pretty much to make it stick. It's kind of like glue, but in a like gel form and you can you know, put it to any shape and size that you want. So I'm gonna use it under the acrylic so that they don't like move around. I'm also gonna use it in the kitchen, but it's really nice so that when you open the jar, things aren't like flying around. But here I have bronzers, powders. I might end up switching this foundation jar over here because I like the foundations in like a deeper Alex five drawer as opposed to the alex nine drawer this one's longer so for some reason it doesn't move as much you would think if it's like a longer drawer that the acrylic would move more but there's something about it that when i have it in these types of drawers they don't move so i'm probably going to move this over i'm trying to see what fits in these first and then i'll play around with setup this one definitely became like a little bit of a random jar because i didn't know where to put these i'm trying to just get everything into drawers and then i'll kind of like re 
revisit and like add more organizers. Like for example, I could probably use another slim one here for some other powders. This one has some lip products. And then this is what I call my extra backup drawer. I love having one of these in one drawer because then I know it's here and I'll know to go here for that. I feel like if it's behind, I won't see it and I won't use it. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm really, really heavy on that. If I don't see it, I won't use it. I don't know it exists. Kind of like out of sight, out of mind. Just visually seeing, okay, I have some backups of this Fenty gloss, so I don't have to get that. Anytime I get products that I absolutely love, like in PR, that I already like use up and purchase all the time, I put them in this drawer because then I don't have to go out and buy it. I know I have a backup. That's the backup drawer. So progress, progress. The vanity that I have to put up on the wall. We had to go get this, the anchors for the screws at a Home Depot today because we lost them in the old apartment. I have to declutter my brushes because they're all kind of there. And then I have to figure out a better system for products because that's a little too high for me and a little too heavy to be like lifting those bins out. So my goal is to get some of those items here or like in like a lower shelf situation. So we're still playing around with this room, but for right now my goal is to just like declutter and organize. So that's what we do in. All right, bye. So this is what Arnel is doing and I am decluttering in the beauty room still days later. <laughs> Why is it so hard to get rid of stuff? Oh my gosh. You guys, we had the craziest revelation last night at like midnight. This is the makeup room, getting ready room. Before, we had the vanity on this side. And the reason is because, you know, there was this outlet here, which technically we did like this makeshift light situation here. We hired, oh, this is just like a crazy ass story, but we hired someone to come do this and totally botched it. So my dad kind of like makeshift fixed it. Instead of putting a wire cover, we put like this hot glue situation because this room didn't have a light at all. And the thing is, is that our ceiling is knocked down. so. You can't put like recess lighting, like those little cute flush lights or nothing like that. So we had to either have like a chain hanging here or a lamp and we just didn't want that. So we connected it to the power here. So we have light, awesome, right? But we had the vanity here because we're like, oh, the outlet is there, makes sense. And like in Queens, I had it like that where my vanity was on this side of the room. But we switched it over to this side and it is so much better. I feel like it just looks so fire when you walk in and you see the whole vanity. At first, I was a little opposed to it because it would involve change. And I'm a Scorpio who doesn't like change, but I also know that change is necessary. Once the change happens, I'm like a brand new person. But anyway, that's getting too deep. Either way, we changed it over here and Arnaud had the idea. Shout out to him. Uh, oh, <laughs> he's just as detailed as I am. So this is why we make the perfect couple. But we switched it over to here and we're just gonna have to like finagle like an outlet situation, like with a, you know, power strip, whatever, power generator, extension cord for the actual vanity that's chilling right there. But I feel like when you walk in the feng shui of the room, it's just so much better. I pretty much got two new Alex drawers, new tabletop, cause mine were busted. I'm gonna end up putting like a glass on here, but either way, what was bothering me was like this piece was what you saw when you first walked in here. So it was like walk in, boom, side of the table. And then you don't even get to like see the vanity unless you like fully walk into the room. So the plan is to make this the background to my videos, have like a nice aesthetic, flowy, like cute vibe here. Like I want this to feel not like a storage room. Like I want it to feel like almost like a, a walk-in closet, but it's a room. <laughs> Pretty much just a hangout spot where I want to come here and feel good and just unwind, like do whatever I need to do for me here. I'm loving it. So we plan on getting another bookcase, boom, right here. And then this side, making it real cute. Artwork, picture of plants, picture of like a cute bench, a candle burning, you know, the vibes. And then the window, if I do open it, get the natural lighting, I can sit maybe like on a small table here to film. So I do also wanna have some type of cuteness here on this wall, but not too much because when you walk in, that's the wall. So maybe just like simple artwork or like, I don't know, something, something here. But what I could also do is like sit more on the corner and film like pointing this way and that would kind of be my background or the other way where the background is gonna be the background. I hope that makes sense, but it's flowing so much better. I still have, woo, all of this to go through and you do not want to see the living room right now. Like no, show them, show them, show them. there, we got our tabletop finally in. Yeah, I'm amongst the 30 other people. Yeah, so it's crazy because it was kind of like a blessing in disguise when the tabletop didn't come. Like we only had the legs and I was like, you know what's better because it'll give me time to like sort through these Amazon packages and then craziness happened and I didn't get to sort through it. So that's what I'm kind of doing today is like 
figuring this living room situation out. We're gonna build the table, build the chairs. This way we have more space and move these boxes to the back. But we're getting somewhere. It takes us a while. Well, it takes me a while because while I put things away, I also declutter. And I really, really have been trying to be super strict with myself. Like before I had two of these clear boxes on top of my vanity with just like so much. And I got rid of one. I still have to declutter my brushes. I still have to declutter a lot because right now this season that I'm in in my life is like if I don't use it you gotta go I just don't have room in my life right now to have extraness like it just gives me anxiety to just hoard stuff like it physically pains me to have things I don't use because I feel like one someone else could be using it better someone else would appreciate it so much more than me right now it's just collecting dust like I don't like that I don't like to hoard it really really stresses me out like I literally had a meltdown and cried the other day because I just didn't want all this makeup and that's coming from like the most grateful place like I'm not saying I don't don't want this because I just don't want it. I'm saying I'm not using it and like somebody else could. So I'd rather gift it to friends, gift it to family, gift it to you guys. Like I don't want to hold stuff that I'm not using. It's just not fair to me, to anyone. Makeup expires. What's the point? I don't need 20 concealers just for myself. I can keep five and give the rest away and someone else could enjoy them too. Like I just like to share and I'm not a knickknack person. Yeah, very blessed, very grateful. There's more PR coming in with new stuff. So there's always new stuff. You know, there's always gonna be a new product that's Sephora. Like literally, I went to Sephora and bought no, just, stuff. Just, just pack me up at this point. <laughs> I went to Sephora to return something and I ended up with a whole bag of stuff and I'm over here like, get rid of it. No, but if it doesn't suit my skin type, skin tone, is not for me. If it's not for my client kit, bye. Ciao, ciao, bacalao. Like I got oily skin. I don't need dry skin products for myself. What would be the reason to keep that? I have what I need for my clients. I have what I need for me. Yeah, basta. Fiend. So anyway, makeup room is coming along. Very happy, very happy, very happy with this choice of moving it. Like it literally feels like a life changing moment. I actually like want to come in here. And it's crazy how just like rearranging your furniture will do that. Sometimes I don't have a good eye for placement, but Arnel does. So blessings, blessings. He literally rearranged my bedroom in Queens and he like changed my life with that when he did that. He closed the door, you remember? Uh, we had just oh, like yeah. met, not just met, but like uh, we were fresh and he was like, hold up, give me like an hour. And he closed the bedroom door. Mind you, like we were already like dating, like we were together. We were together, so it wasn't weird, but he like closed the door and I swear he took it from like a three to a 10 with the same stuff that I had, like just moved it around. The placement of things is so important. Like I'm big on feng shui, don't overthink it. <laughs> <laughs> leave it alone that's something my mom taught me walk away from things and come back to them because when you're staring at something for so long you start to overanalyze and overthink it both ways you can either come back and love it or you come back and be like oh simple change just put this here ah boom like this room was like plaguing us like we really sat here for hours and we're like how are we gonna make this background work here like return the bookcase we what scrap the whole vanity you know and now that we switched it we came back and then it just it dawned on us like oh we can make it work so leave it alone i'm gonna leave it alone all right <laughs> we got so much more to tackle here <laughs> yeah, i think i'm trying to avoid this <laughs> so you're just... i'm just over there yeah. all right well i'll see you guys in a few just got a ship's order for some water and lacroix and dial soap that's what i got So we are about to set up our table, finally, and our chairs. And so this is the before and after. With the chairs, table is from Wayfair. Chairs are Target. I don't even know how many hours later. How many hours do you think? Uh, what time is it? Seven. Let's see, we started at two. Five hours and six beers later, we have a dining table and chairs. I cannot wait to style this table. It's gonna look so cute once styled. Probably gonna lower the light now because there's like a lot of space between the light and the table. But I'm thinking like maybe either like a concrete bowl or like a gold bowl to add some like color in the middle. It could be flowers, it could be stems, it could be gold, it could be a candle. It could be literally anything, but something like nice and grand for that area would look really nice. And also once the kitchen is like cleared and stuff, it'll look even better but i'm really really excited the chairs were a pain in the butt but <laughs> in the butt but right oh yeah like literally they i don't know if they designed these with their eyes closed but the holes were not 
adding up. Nothing was lining up, but Arnell is a wizard of all wizards. They are comfy, but I will say a lot of them have like little nicks and stuff, but they're black, so you can't really like tell. But like, for example, right over here, like, what was the reason? The table is actually a gift from my mom from Wayfair and I will have it linked down below, but I highly recommend both. Looks fire. We also want to change the light in the kitchen. We had some like really outdated track lights. We changed them to these little white ones, but I do want to get a black track eventually. I think it'll just like tie in everything from the dining room into the, I mean the dining area into the kitchen. And then we have black accents in the kitchen anyway. So that is today's project. We are done. And then, <laughs> at the aftermath we just ordered some tape and some garbage bags because we don't have any we ran out so we can break these boxes down and get rid of them i had on my crocs i had on my slippers i had on my socks and i feel still hurt so bye this dog is barking <laughs>